three levels of measurement with PUE. PUE level one, two, and three. I wanna talk about all of these very quickly, and then I'll show you how they um, can be used in a live data center. So if we go to uh, PUE level one, this is a basic measurement, and it's measured at the output of the UPS system. The picture I have up here, this is from um, a very old UPS system. It's a 9315. Um, but we have an I.O. board on there that's pretty standard, and most UPS systems, and I have not seen one where it does not have an I.O. board where you can read the output. And that's where we would start to get our baseline measurement information uh, for a PUE level one reading. When we go to PUE level two, we are now going to look at the um, uh, measurements of what I would call the floor PDUs within the data center. And again, this is a picture of a very old, what I would consider outdated PDU. But again, we have the ability across the phases to see what uh, the load is. And that is how we, or how and where we would get our measurements for PUE level two. One of the things that I do uh, on a weekly basis when I'm measuring um, PUE is I will actually go to the floor PDUs. I know the makeup of our floor PDUs, I know which UPS system they're tied to, and I try and do a check and balance to say, okay, this is what I'm reading here. Is it matching or fairly close on the UPS? It might not always be exact because of the power factor associated with the UPS system, but uh, should be really close uh, in, in what I'm seeing from the floor PDU to the UPS system. Finally, PUE level three, uh, this is what we would consider, or the green grid would consider uh, advanced. I see a lot of decent solutions now that have PUE modules in them where it's measuring the PUE real time and as you go. When we look at PUE level three, uh, the IT load is measured back to the uh, power distribution units or the power strips within the rack. Uh, I've taken a picture of what one in a newer rack in our data center looks like. And uh, also through our DSIM solution, we are able to see uh, what our load is there. And again, the um, uh, PUE level three is basically real time where it is constantly measuring uh, that load and it allows you a minute by minute to see where you are. So I, I know when I first started looking at PUE and the measurements of PUE, why does it matter to me, you know, minute to minute, five minute segments, 10 minute segments? Um, even from the PUE level one measurement to if you were using PUE level two, you could see a little variance in what your PUE is just based on the measurements, the power factors that are associated with the UPS system. Uh, but also this, as your CPU utilization uh, ramps up and down based on the number of users uh, or traffic that you have in your data center, that's going to affect it. And also your outside temperature outside humidity will have a great uh, effect on there also. And it's really important as we understand and can get a little more granular and how those outside variables affect our PUE. It goes back to the, if we're measuring this and we're understanding if it's 95 degrees in Ohio and humid, I know what my mechanical equipment is going to do. I know what uh, during my peak load, what my CPU is going to do. And it allows me to make provisions to not only maintain my efficiency, but to make sure that I'm doing absolutely nothing to harm the reliability and health of the equipment and the facility itself. Okay, this is uh, straight from the green grid. It uh, pretty much summarizes what we just talked about, the level one, level two, and level three uh, PUE measurements. It tells you where the IT equipment energy is measured from, the UPS, the PDUs, uh, and then the actual rack of PDU strips themselves. Uh, also talks about um, the measurement intervals, monthly, daily, every 15 minutes. The uh, recommendation that I would make to anybody listening, I was so overwhelmed by the idea of PUE at first. Uh, I'm in a mixed facility. It took me 18 months to find an electric bill, uh, and it was incredibly difficult to try and start slicing and dicing the things out that I didn't need and focusing on what we did need. But it really became very simple when I under, started to understand better the level one, two, and three. And it allowed me to focus in. I started with level one. And 
uh, I became very consistent. I know it said weekly. I did Monday, Wednesday, Friday, where I would manually walk around and measure. But here's the important thing. I was so concerned that I would do my PUE measurement wrong. And really, the only way you can do a PUE measurement wrong is if you cheat the numbers. If you see uh, your facility, total facility energy, or your total IT equipment energy, and you fudge the numbers so your PUE looks better, that's the only way you can do it wrong. But if you are recording and following the exact outputs and uh, energy usage that you see both on your IT and your facility equipment, you're not going to be wrong. You will learn how you can improve. You will learn how to get better from level one to level two and possibly even to level three. And then you'll learn how to take that data to use it to your advantage to make sure you have uh, uh, great reliability, uh, proper cooling, no overcooling, and you're managing everything within the data center as effectively and as efficiently as possible. Um, so going, going through this so quickly, uh, I wanted to put this slide in here. So we talk about IT equipment, and then we talk about the facility equipment. And I, I think the way I can simplify it is anything that's in your data center and anything that's supporting, such as uh, your fire suppression and detection, any DSIM solutions, any monitoring that you have, that is part of the IT equipment. When we look at the facility side, and this is where it can get difficult in a mixed facility, we're looking at HVAC, security, the whole building uh, power to the entire building itself for the facility which in the data center resides. So again, I was confused uh, trying to decide what went where, but consistency is the key. If um, I by some chance counted uh, some equipment that should have been part of IT equipment in with the facility, but if I did that measurement exactly the same every time I measured, I at least have consistency. And then later, as I would find out, you know, this probably should have been with IT equipment and not facility. It's okay to make that correction, but just be consistent with what and how you're measuring for PUE to be the most effective for you and how you manage your facility. Uh, but this is just a great schematic drawing that shows us where our level one, our level two, and our level three would be. Again, we're looking at the UPS here as the level one. Uh, we can go up here and see all the areas that are marked as our level two. And in the data centers that, uh, the data center I manage and those that I work in, we see those going out to the uh, floor PDUs. And then finally, level three, the actual power strips that we see within the racks themselves. And um, uh, again, level one, level two, and level three. Is any one better than the other? I mean, level three gives you the most granularity and the most real time with what is going on. But again, whatever level that you feel you can accurately measure and you're comfortable with uh, to start doing this and doing it at the regular intervals recommended by the green grid, you will not be wrong and it will not be something that will hurt you in your attempts to gain efficiency in your data center.